Today we will cover how you can change the default advanced locomotion character from this ugly blue guy to your own character. First step is to import your character. In our example we will use the gothic knight from the unreal marketplace. After you've imported your character go to the skeletal mesh and assign a skeleton. It is important to know that it only works for skeletons that have the same bone structure to the default unreal character. If you see the bone names in red for example it means that you have to retarget your skeleton first. Let me know in the comments if you want me to make a video video on how that's done. If you ignore the red names and non-retarget you will be rewarded with some nightmare fuel like this. Now that we have assigned our mesh a skeleton, we can go to our scene, select our character and take a look at the structure. As you can see we have multiple skeletons. The main one is called the driver. This is the skeleton that controls the animation. This is also the blue character that you can see. To make sure you can't see the blue character anymore, you have to put the render visibility to false. The second skeletal mesh is called the slave. This mesh just follows the animation of the driver. Here you have to select your own character. Once that is done, it should be working. We've done this in our scene, but you can also do this in the blueprint itself. So it is safe for all your levels. But we're not done learning yet. I recommend you watch my video on how to change the default character speed of the Unreal character.